Can you see now? <laughs> it's blocked. I never knew that. Brilliant. Every time they flush the toilet upstairs, it is flying out of here. Turn that back on now. Wow. So how much would you charge for a job like this? Yeah, we had a local factory get in touch, asked us to do an overhaul of their toilets. I mean, we got there to do the quote, the site manager actually told me he was having a really hard time getting anybody to come out to actually give him a quote. Now, I've never done anything like this before. So, when I got the opportunity, bit of a challenge. Yeah, I really wanted this job. By the time I finished, I could see why nobody would quote or even attempt this job. So, yeah, I'll let you know how much I charge for this job. It might help you out if you get a job like this come up. I just want to say thank you again for all your support. Really, really appreciate it. If you got any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure you like the video. Yeah, let's take a look at this factory job. Right, so we're working in male toilets today. Happy days. So we've got uh, three toilets to replace down here and I'm going to be taking out these urinals and putting in a trough. It's going to be fun. So these are the toilets in here. And we've got one, two, three. And then we've got that one to blank off. So yeah, looks like it's going to be a fun day. So with the urinals, you can see there's like there are no, no automatic flushes there. So you can't flush them nothing. So what happens is they put it on a trickle and there's a different type of siphon in here. So when it gets to a certain level, it'll just overflow and yeah, flush them. So it is a little bit different. No flush there. It's, um, if I get it out, I can show you. But yeah, we're just going to pop the water off, isolation valve there, rip them off the wall and yeah, we'll bring the trough in. So this is inside the system. See, it's like a dome inside there. Let me just put it on and you'll see it fill up. So if I open this. See it fill up? So it fills up, goes through this siphon here, this dome siphon. Can you see now? <laughs> it's blocked. I never knew that. Brilliant. Oh crap. Let's get them off. Yeah, that's how that works. Why is it rains? So yeah, we have to mop the water up now. We've got this disconnect here. You just disconnect it off there, put it out. Yeah, it'll just come over now. There's no clips on the wall. So yeah, get that off, disconnect the waste. Um, that won't be fun because it'll be blocked. Then yeah, two screws up there. And that is them out. That's as easy as that to get them out. The vinyls will be locked on a bracket. So what Wayne's doing is just broke all the silicon off and it just trying to prise it out now. But they've told all around it, which is brilliant. And just a lot of silicon. So you should be able to just give that a wiggle and a jiggle. And that will come out. There you go. There's the bracket. And it just hooks on the back of there. There you go. That's that one out. You should do the same with the other one. And uh, yeah, we can. Oh, we can just pull it. And see, they come as holding that on more than the bracky. So that's all clear now. What we're going to do is we're going to put the urinal trough in 610. That's the standard height for the urinal. Um, so we're going to line that up and get the urinal trough on. So here's the urinal trough. That's a 1500 stainless steel one. It's got to be 610 to here. So what we're going to do is measure from the screw holes there to there. Then add on 610, then line across the wall and we can uh, screw it on. So it's all on the wall now, just screwed in. That's 610 from that lip there to the floor. Got the, the waist in and we're just working out the pipes. Now you can see there, that's where it's going to flush from. And then the wall comes out there. So we just put it on there because these are universal. Fence centre, T, cut it down. And we're going to put the system on the wall there. Really simple, really easy. And they go, Burr. Oh, the nut. So what I'm just saying there, if you have tightened that nut, it'll just split. So don't over tighten it. So he's going to tighten it up. The system's on the wall, pipes in. That was preformed. Look at this. Hey, what's that? That's bad. Anyway, uh, that's all in now. Uh, these hoses here, the little holes, you have to make sure they're back against there. I mean, if you left them like that, imagine the poor bloke that's using the urine and it comes straight at him. So make sure they're facing the right way. But yeah, go down the wall, it's going to go up, mark the holes. I mean, that's took us, what, an hour? But anyway, right. no, it's, it's an easy job to be fair. All right, so water is all back on, on here. I'm sorry to leave the stop tapping. I could have took it out, but I thought I'd leave it in, in case, well, that far, I don't know. I just left it in anyway. But new bit of pipe on there. And that's the trickle valve there, which goes in the top of there. You just adjust that so it just fills up to a certain 
tie in for when it siphons itself onto there. And that's it all in, that's all tightened up on there. Yeah, that was easy, a lot, lot easier than what I thought. Are you right? I've never done one before, but yeah, nice and easy, to be fair. So, trophies, near enough done there, just got to do the waste, got to go and get some food before, before lunch. And um, we're going to start ripping out these toilets, got them all lined up, ready to go. <coughs> nice and easy, there's isolation valves and all of them, just start ripping out. Uh, yeah, just using bomb rods to lick them last time. You know, I feel about suitable and toilets, but. All them got come out, like the logs going in. So yeah, we'll get all them ripped out and probably go for lunch. That's one way to get a toilet. My mate Wayne's like a wrecking ball. He's, he's, he's just kicking toilets. Kick that one, so that's out. No, that one's bro. That one's out. Is that one out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just kick him. So if you need to get a toilet, just kick it. So all the toilets are ripped out now, so we've got a uh, base to work on. But if you look at the fall on that, look, it is dead level. So what we're going to do is cut out the sides of here, um, just so we can raise that up a bit. That one's been blanked off, so we can uh, put an access rod in there. So if anyone needs work on it, can. And we're just bleaching the floor. So obviously we want a clean work environment. The only problem is, when it's just an over here, I mopped it all, but every time they flush the toilet upstairs, it is flying out of here. Um, we need to get a blank in there, to be honest with you, because if they go for a two, it ain't going to be fun if uh, something pops out of there. So we need to go and get some 50 mil fittings because uh, I did forget to order them, silly me. Uh, but yeah, mop it all down. Three toilets in, yeah. And get that raised up so it actually flows that way. The only thing we could do is really is dig down and try and cut that down, but no thank you. I'm not trying to get into that concrete. We will raise the saw pipe up. All right, so now we're gonna do the waste. Um, it's 50 mil, so we're gonna go and get some uh, 50 mil poly pipe. Uh, a couple of 45s now, but I'm just going to clean off the uh, the hole. But the problem we keep having is keep flushing the toilets upstairs. There's only one set of other set of toilets in this building, and keep flushing. So I'm hoping while I'm doing this, the dog flush the toilet. Um, we've got the reducer there. I go into the stack. Um, just going to glue that in. Two 45s, Elba, and that should be the waste done. I'm just working out the angle now for the 45. Make sure they're tight in there, and then we can get the water on, get that filled up, and give you a test. Right, so that's all in, all clipped. Oh, the clips on there, into the waste. Got it filling up now, so what should happen now? That was up to a certain level, so it will activate, and you should see all that come out of there, all the water. Drain up into there, let's we'll see what happens. There you go. Beautiful. Have to get all them bits of plastic out of there. Give you a wipe down, get all the dust off. But yeah, that's your iron all, all fitted. So onto the toilets. That one has been completely removed now. That is out. We had to cut this down. You won't believe what was in there. I'm not going to show you. It was disgusting. So my way, why not? I cut through that. Bless you. Um, put a couple of onto there we have an inspection rodding on it there so you can get in there if you need to rod this now uh, toilet we've put that on the floor screwed it down at the new system just made all that up stuffed it onto the connection the water connection then just mark the holes drilled screwed yeah and just go and pop that in and connect it all up and go do that three times three new toilets system is on the wall what we can do is to get the flush pipe in just see how far it goes into there first so Wow, that goes in that much. So I've got plenty of both on the height. Now to get the length for that part, measure from the back of the toilet to the back of the wall. See what that measurement is, and from the back of the wall to your siphon. And you can just work out, that works out the length for that. So if it's echoing, every time I talk near the toilet, it's echoing, because it's a uh, yeah, crazy noise. Uh, but yeah, that's, we're just gonna get the length for that cut down, and then get that put on. So once you've worked out your lamps, you can get your nut and tighten them on. Up onto there, back seal, push that on, back seal that on the toilet. I've done a video a few weeks back, eight feet toilet. Dead easy, done. Um, really easy, once you've got the measurement. Yeah. That's what's all done in here. That is one gear rhinal trough all fitted on there. Um, we've tested it a few times, and you do have to set the flower rate right on them. Uh, so we've sparked the soil manager, he's going to come in and do that. We've left it what we think it should be, but. Sometimes the factories turn them right down because I'm on water meters, so yeah, 
Um, one need to hold it in there, need to hold it in there, need to hold it in there, got a bracket on there, good slope on that now so it actually falls away because yeah, when we took that leg of pipe out, it was rank, absolutely rank. But yeah, that's it, uh, that's it, we're all done. I've got two more to do upstairs, so yeah, I'll show you properly how to put all the internals in, how to do flush pipe, all that, because I've got two internals to do upstairs, two more toilets, two lost internals. That, it's been really enjoyable. Never done anything like that. Never done where you are in 12. Learned to baby in college, stuff like that. Like when I was 16, 17. I'm 36. <laughs> it's been a long time, but yeah. Really enjoyed doing that. Actually really enjoyed it. I have been nice with the smells and God knows what I've been a little bit wank in here, but yeah. It's day one done. See if we can day two. Upstairs I've got the two male toilets, got one there, one there. That hasn't even been used in years. So obviously we've got to take the box now. New systems, new toilets, new systems, new toilet. So yeah, these are exactly the same downstairs, but I'll show you how we'll do all the internals and everything. So yeah, let's get them off and uh, get cracking. So that's all the toilets out. Well, the two toilets in the gents. Uh, yeah, all we've got to do now is take this lot all the way downstairs, two toilets, two systems. I'll be honest with you though, it's an absolute trick. So yeah, once I've got that, I'm getting new toilets up and start getting them in. So the toilets all in, I'm just fitting these, the Dudley Diplomat Expose System. So it comes in pieces basically. It does come with instructions. And basically you have got to build it yourself. So you put the seal on the bottom of there. Now who's gonna silicon this? Let me know in the comments. Do you silicon the bottom of this? So that siphon should just seal with that rubber seal. But what you see people do is just feed it through, bang a lot of silicon around here with the nut. Now that seal will do just fine. Really well. Um, each of them are, I suppose. I don't see the control parts. I don't. So, yeah. I'm just going to pop that siphon in and get the bottom of the tightened on. So that's all tightened in now. So make sure you put your siphon lever where you want your handle. So we're putting the handle there. So yeah, the siphon's got to get out. So it will attach on. Now, this little plug. Don't forget that navy if you want to put it in. It does actually tell you in the instructions there. If you with the plug in and plug out uh, the water line that you can have there, just there. And you're just gonna put that plug in there. It goes into the sides in there. Can you see them? I don't know if you can see it too well. It's two white caps there. There's one missing in the middle, so I'm just gonna pop that in. Um, yeah, then we'll get the handle on. So the handle that all comes in pieces. Um, yeah, you just pop that collar over there put the handle through and you've got a back nut that you can tighten that onto then you put your handle onto your siphon then you can put that metal arm through there obviously you've got to make sure that you put your toilet handle the right way and then there's a little clip that i've lost hold on let me find that clip there you go there's the clip so if you can see there's a groove on the handle there let me just pull it out see it there so you just push that through Oops, not too far, because you push the handle out. There you go, can you see it's lined up there? Then you can push that clip onto there, and it'll hot lock the handle into place. That's on. All working, and there's a screw that goes in the top piece there. And I see you just line the lever up in line with there, because obviously you don't want um, it pulled all the way that way, because you can put it strained on the side of it. So line that up in level and you see it that's that's the siphon all in that's not least the screw there you screw that down and it will lock it onto the handle um yes yeah, so what we're going to do is take this into the toilets get it on the wall and find out where you want the clips don't put your um your float valve in because you won't be able to get this screw i found out the hard way yesterday so the siphon nice and easy to find it where you want it just line up where your float valve's going to go in with the inlet then you can see there, I've put two marks on the wall. So never going to do this one-handed, but one there, one there, where I want the holes. There, and there. Spit level across there, two holes. We can get that on the wall then. Yeah, nice and easy. And then we can get the flower valve. There you go. Hey, it's all screwed to the wall. Uh, I'll get the siphon in now. So, you see it's twisting the arm. All you do is just keep tightening it. Keep tightening it, and it will, crush, it will tighten down onto there, wherever you want it. Then you can get that in there, connect it up. Yeah, nice and simple, really. All right, so the flush pop, that was dead easy. You know what? So that's taken off for nothing. That length was perfect, and it went, that goes up to there. So nothing off the length there, nothing off the length there. 
connected to water, filled up to the six litre mark. There we go. No leaks around the back. Happy days. Right, so that's it. All in. There's a blanking cap off there that comes with it. Just push that in and that's on. Um, this bit here, the orange bit squeezing into the top of the side for empty so when you put your lid on. through there to lock that in stop it run tampering there you go i'm just gonna clean it all up but it's one toilet done and i'm just gonna do that toilet exactly the same then onto the ladies next door to do all the internals on their toilets so i'll finish you touching that toilet because obviously there is a load of ct1 i oh, know you can take that out it's gonna be a pain but i always find love the factories offices toilets get abused man I don't know why people don't treat them like they are, so I'd rather have that stuck down and not moving anywhere and then a call back say it's coming loose. So, yeah, but one toilet done, two toilets done, there we have got a problem next door, let me show you. So, we're supposed to be doing the internals on this one. The isolation valves knackered. The isolation valves knackered. I mean, them Dudley's, to be fair, Dudley normally last ages, but they're one of them replacing, but I cannot. Get it closed, I'll have to see if I can turn the water off from them. Yeah, just that come through the factory and here's the boiler room. This is where the, the stock tap was. He's a big boy, Kingfisher too. Oh my god. I'd love to have a crack at something like that. I thought come out. It's just bigger, eh? Everything's just bigger. Bigger pumps, bigger valves. Tim got an EBH on but I'd, I'd love to have a good commercial. Anyway, that's where the stock tap is, that one. Uh, that's the need we made there. So yeah, I'm just gonna put, turn it off, get any oil flash valve on that. So does that part work on man? Some tap there, ain't right? that? Oh, I saw that stuff from just put a boiler fix valves in there. Well, put a slide valve because I haven't got none of the uh, none of them on my van. That'll do for future maintenance and that. Um so they can get the water back on. Just quickly turned it off, got it back on. So yeah, that's done. Uh bull valve, easy, just take this nut off and flat valve which come out. Once you took that one off. So just siphoned all the water out of there, just a bit of valves, give it a suck. Straight to the toilet, uh, the wet back on my van, I couldn't be bothered to get it. It was miles away, just quicker to do that. Um, so yeah, just undo that screw, take that off, and we can get the soil for now. So handle disconnected is stuck in there. I'm gonna have to try to get that off in a bit, but it's connected off the soil for to get the soil off. Flush comb, uh, not there, and there's another one off the underneath there, just undo that. Get the hand tight, and that'll pull the soil for now. Hopefully, yeah, it's looking good. So, so not disconnected, siphon, out. There you go. That would have been all right for a few more years, I'm going to say, but that was just one all done at the same time, so all done out. Let's get the new one in. The new one's a Viva. How about that? We're going for a Viva siphon and a Dudley uh, flat valve. Yeah, that's what they had in stock, so grab one of them. They are good though, 10 year warranty on that, so yeah, easy to install as well. That's what it's there, do we? Yeah, I'll show you to this. Just pop them in. And then nuts that you just see in. Just turn them back on. That's it. Now you're going to fit the uh, fully adjustable flat valve. I'm just going to set it all up. What you do is take this click off. And you can unlock it there. You can see how it goes together. It's a bit like the Magnum Cleanse box. That's what it reminds me of. And you just undo that. So yeah, I'm going to do it one handy bit. You can see now you've got two parts. And you can make it as long or short as you want. Just pull it back together however you want it. That's it. Sorry, it's hard to do one until I'm done. Put your flat valve together and just pin across straight through there. Put your ball on, that's it. Uh, two nuts on it, one goes near them. So I'll put one on first, feed it through and put the other nut on. Really basic, easy plumbing this is. It's scary a bit now, I've got to turn the water back on. And I'm miles away. Oh, I if that was. I'm going to give me spanner. You know, go and run now to the offices. We're safe. There's no water here now, so we can turn that back on now. Wow! <laughs> Got to tighten that up, eh? There's some pressure there, that way, there. <laughs> right, let's try again. Absolutely slow, then. There you go. Get me hands on that just in case. I'm nervous, man. There you go. So all the internals done on that one. 
Eternals done on that one, and the two drinks done on that one. Nice day too, all done. So yeah, very, very different for me. I mean, I always use contractor badge. I don't do factories normally or, you know, offices, but I actually really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's just a bulk set of work in one place. So, yeah, doing two days here has been uh, pretty good. Um, now, the bill for this, I did charge more than what I normally charge, to be honest with you, because I was taking out factory toilets that have been in there years. You know what I mean? I think I've charged £75 per toilet just to get rid of them, take them out and get rid of them. The urinal, £65 each to get them out, get rid of them. So it's five toilets got rid of, two urinals. Um, it's £250 per toilet to install and supply and install. Um, the internals on them, £80 each one. Um, cap off of soil pipe, I think that's about £40, and the urinal cost is £1,100, including supplying it. That's pre back so you have to add that onto that. I think this is coming at £3,700, roughly, for the two days. So, yeah, I'll say the hardest one to price up was a trough because I've never done one, but it's pretty straightforward. So, there you go. Um, hope you enjoyed it. A lot of toilets. <laughs> and say so I don't normally do these many toilets, but it's been fun. It wasn't fun taking them out. I tell you that it stunk, absolutely stunk. As I said, I adjusted the job price to reflect that. You know, it's been a crappy few days taking them out, but it was a well-paid job. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Catch you on the next one.